I gotta tell you, I've been receiving a bunch of questions lately from all over, old buddies, people I don't even know. Even the editor of Outdoor Life, Andrew McKean, gave me a call or an email the other day and said, Grant, is it true? Did you sell the Proven Grounds? Well, I'm thankful people are concerned about me and what's going on with my family. And we're all in great shape. My health is great, everybody's great. And it is kind of true that we sold, we sold the northern two thirds of the proven grounds and kept the southern third. Let me tell you why. So the northern two thirds Trace and I have owned for over 20 years. And I've literally poured blood, sweat and tears into that property and took an old burnout cattle ranch. I mean, to be honest, I don't know if I've ever worked a property that had as many cattle skeletons around it as this one because the guy that had been leasing it to graze cattle on there had just grazed it to death and cattle had starved. So. If cows are starving, think how tough it is for a deer to make a living. So we got it inexpensively and worked on it 20 years. I mean, planting food plots, taking gravel and turning it into black dirt, cutting cedars, hundreds of acres of cedars and turning it into beautiful native grasses and forbs. And the deer herd, well, the first year I saw one deer, I saw a tail going around cedar tree, literally one deer in the first year. And now we have a bunch of deer and harvest really high quality bucks pretty much bigger than what was known in the county. Just a great project for me to learn from and enjoy my family. Both my daughters tagged their first bucks here and I've had many, many successful hunts. My dad, we called him Pops, really enjoyed hunting here. Lots of memories. Through time, Trace and I originally bought the, you know, the northern third as one property. More and more neighbors sold to the south of us. I don't know why, but just south of us. And we accumulated a bit more land south and it was raw. I really didn't have the time to keep working on this and maintain it and start a new project because this was years ahead of that. And it's full of cedars and Ceresia lespediza, multiflora rose, the roads aren't that great. It's really starting over. So Trace and I, through a lot of prayer and thought and counsel of friends, decided to list the northern portion of the proving grounds, basically the northern two thirds and start over on the southern third. Big choice. And we called some buddies that had used a big real estate firm out west, so a lot of western ranches. So on their recommendation, we listed with them and they didn't understand white tails or the Midwest and never even had a showing to be honest. And then we, I was talking to a friend of mine, Joe, Joe Bea. He, he has a great podcast out of Alabama. He's a great guy and he happens to work for National Land Realty. And I'm talking to Joe, just talking to him about this experience we'd had and kind of what didn't go so well and he suggested he and Jeremy. Jeremy's a national land realty agent here in Southern Missouri and Kansas, Jeremy Alert. I invited him out because I love showing the work we've done and we toured around, looked at food plots, looked at the native vegetation areas and man, they got super excited. Most people do the first time they come here to the Proving Grounds because they don't see this level, this quality of native vegetation and bucks and whatnot. So we talked to them and again, Trace and I prayed through it and said, okay, we'll try this one more time. If not, maybe we're just supposed to stay here and we're listed with National Land Realty. And they came back one time, did a bigger tour and brought their drones, went up all over. I mean, all real estate agents use drones anymore. But what I didn't know is National Land Realty has this great program. It's, it's theirs, they have it only, I think, called Land Tour 360. So when they send up a drone, they can come down or use footage or pictures. We have, most landowners have footage or pictures. Maybe they're building a food plot or something and tie it in. So someone interested in the property can just click all around the property and see it from, you know, a 300 foot level and a ground level. You got to check it out because I'm not doing a good job of explaining it, but go to National Land Realty and check out the Land Tour 360. It is incredible. It allowed me to see the ranch as I hadn't seen it before. It's awesome. And they did their work, you know, they said goodbye and did their work. Trace and I just doing our daily life and the listing come out. And soon after it come out, a gentleman from Texas said he wanted to take a tour. And I mean, toured, a few days later we had an offer, go through the closing process, and next thing I know, we're at the closing office. Those guys just made it so simple. Their, their programs, the way they list up, the way they show the property, 
made it so simple, it almost caught Tracy and I off guard. I'm so happy the new owner, Chris, is big time in the deer hunting and wants to continue to work in the release process and maintain or even continue to improve the habitat. And Tracy's excited she gets a new house on the Proven Grounds 2. That's what we're calling it, the Proven Grounds 2. And I get a blank slate, man. I mean, I got cedars to cut and cerise to kill and land to scout, white oaks to find. So this year, while Daniel and I are hunting, it's kind of like, almost like we're just busting out on new land. I mean, we've driven through there before, but we don't know it like we knew the Proving Grounds. And we've got to find those white oak stands we're hunting and scouting on the fly and making plans how to improve the habitat. So stay tuned, because if you recently purchased a new property or you've been sitting on a property for a while but really haven't done much habitat improvement work, we're starting from scratch too. And we're gonna be sharing week by week our techniques and our strategies with maps and multi mobile pictures, whatever, to show you the exact steps we're taking to scout it, hunt it, and improve the habitat through time. I'm very thankful for the folks at National Land Realty to make this just go so seamless. Thankful for Chris to being a good neighbor. And I'm super excited to share a brand new project from start, I won't say finish, but from the start with you guys. Hey, you know, learning a new property is a great way to enjoy creation, but more importantly, we need to seek and follow the Creator's will for our life. Thanks for watching Growing Deer. Mm -hmm.